Hey man, we're going after this thing. This morning was a startup. You guys did a good job. We got to keep pushing, all right? Yeah. 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 New levels. Go. 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 New levels, new records. Hey, work, say. It's new levels, new records. Yeah. Hey, uh. Yeah, you guessed it. Never second, no. Guess it. Man and boys is not impressive, no. No one can ride with me. No one can ride with me. Standing beside of me. Standing beside of me. It's water inside of me. What's up, this is Jason Taylor. I'm back home and you watching Duke Blue Planet. I can tell. Yo, what up? It's Jeremy Roach here on the first day of school. Uh, energy is always great on the first day. I uh, love seeing all the new faces. I'm most looking forward to this year. Obviously having a great year with the basketball team. Um, also meeting some new faces. I'm, I'm an upperclassman now, so uh, kind of big dog on campus, but excited for this year, uh, excited for the season. Uh, it's gonna be a big year. We got a new team. I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna catch you at workouts. So tonight we're going to the, the class of 2026. Everybody's gonna be there taking the class photo. Make sure they're they're pumped up. They got smiles on their faces. This is a picture, you know, 15 years later, you'll still be looking at. So it'll be a special moment to, to share in it with them. And I'll know right away if our players aren't there because they're going to stick out like a sore thumb. So I told them I'm, I'm doing this tonight. I expect to see them front, front and center. But, uh, you know, looking forward to spending this time with uh, them and the rest of the class of 26 tonight. You know, for me, it's crazy. Um, you know, going through freshman orientation week again and thinking back to what 16 years ago, going through it for the first time myself. And, you know, really there's, I'm excited for the class of 26, but also there's a part of me that's jealous because they're heading into the best years of their life. I realized it throughout the course of my freshman year going into uh, really the, the, the last part when you finish and you know I was fortunate to play and win a national championship but once I left that's when the impact really hit me so I'm excited for the class of 26 and excited to spend some more time with them tonight So enjoy it every single moment, loud as you can be all night. And when everybody makes some noise for how excited you guys are this year, one more time, make some noise. We'd be a little louder. We'd be a little louder, especially those guys back there. One more time, make some noise. I'm excited for you all. Can't wait to see you guys in camera. Can't wait to see you guys next Friday night. All right. Best of luck. What up, Blue Devil Nation? It's Paolo Bancaro, back in Durham. I just love being here. You know, the environment, the people around here, um, it's just great vibes and, you know, I couldn't help but, you know, make my way back. Yeah, it's a big privilege for us to have uh, our former players back, uh, for guys like Paolo, Mark, Wendell to be back and come work out. It says a lot, um, especially for our younger guys, to see how hard they work, to see what it means to be a pro. Um, and it's an honor for us as coaches um, that they still come back and trust us to get them ready um, for the season and to help them grow. Uh, and anytime we can see them, their family for life, the brotherhood, it's really the epitome of what the, the brotherhood is about. Um, it's about here now, but always Duke and Duke forever. Uh, so to have those guys back and to see them, to work with them, to help them uh, is really great. Yeah. 
shots like I'm John Wooden. In the kitchen with my jewelry and a pot cooking. Walking through the mall and never stop looking. All my brags turn to facts. All my hunters turn to racks. All my ladies turn to snacks. SUVs black on black. SUVs black on black. I was fucking up, but now. Uh, I just wanted to come back to Duke, you know, before training camp starts, you know, see all the guys. Um, you know, and I just love it here. So, you know, Duke's one of the best schools in the country. So, why not come back? I see him talk a toe, can't wait to slam him out. Can't slap. Every car I get up in, gotta have two up on the day. Every hope I want. Every hope I won't get slapped. Trying to reach for some around my neck, get hit with the whole man. These new VPs on Oh, working out here is great. You know, working out with the meal while I'm here. Um, you know, just, you know, Coach Will getting the lift in. So, doing all those things. See surrounds on my top. All my guns got steady, man. Put no tags up on my track, all cause I plan on doing the day. After I get away, we wrap it all black. About your folks before you play, you gotta be smarter than that. I'm trying to go back and rebuild the hood while I'm starving it. And it's a fact. I said hollow business like a quarterback. All my brags turn to facts. All my hunters turn to racks. All my ladies. It's Paolo Bancaro from the Orlando Magic, and you're watching Duke Blue Panic. Yeah, we're just really proud of Paulo and Mark and Wendell, AJ, Trevor, the guys that have uh, gone pro this year. It's great to see them back in person when they come, but the way they represent themselves, us, the program, uh, you know, that's what's most exciting as a coach. Of, of course, the basketball piece is, you know, seeing Paulo go one is, is a big deal. But the person that he is and how he treats everybody in our program with great respect, he comes back, everybody's excited to see him. That's what it's all about. And it's a credit to those guys for being all in here and getting the most out of what Duke has to offer and vice versa with Duke. We, 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 uh, we are the beneficiaries of having them come to our school. The brotherhood is a real thing. And the guys who have come through our program and now that are coming back, you know, it's, it's amazing to see Mark and to see Paulo these last couple days. Uh, but when you, when you decide to come here, a huge part of it is the development piece. You wanna, you need to get better in every way. That's not just on the court, that's off the court, but you know, with our games, they put a lot of trust in us and developing their skill set and of course what they need to do to be the most successful that they can for our season but then eventually for the NBA and so the fact that they come back and you know they're their head coach Jefferson that's not a surprise at all that's that shows the level of trust that they have in him and obviously they have that with our coaching staff this is Trevor Kills aka Kill Mo I'm with my guy Shire here and you watch the Duke Blue Planet Yo, what up, it's Jerry Roach, just finished a great day of class. Now it's back here at noon, get some more work in. Uh, kind of how my mindset changed in this preparation. Uh, obviously, we kind of got a young core of guys. I'm the oldest returner coming, so how that's made me better is just I had to be on, more on top of my stuff. Uh, so that's kind of made me sharpen my game up, sharpen my routines up, just to set a better example for the young guys and, and leave this place better than the way I found it. You got to get out your comfort zone. I know for me, big, for me personally, I'm not a big talker. Um, I like to just kind of keep keep quiet, keep to myself a little bit. Uh, but now I gotta kind of lead. By, I gotta lead, be vocal, be, be vocal, tell guys where to go, tell guys to do this, do that. So I think that's been the, the ma that's the major thing in just being a leader, being getting outside your comfort zone. Because if you're just, if you're comfortable, you won't you won't ever take that outside step and kind of go above and beyond what you need to do and get guys better. You gotta set that example every day in practice um, and in the game. Uh, put on the show. Uh, I talked to Quinn probably weekly. Obviously, Quinn Cook, he's, he's from the DMV. I think that was that's kind of like the main guy who's who's been kind of harping on me to be a leader because uh, he was a, he was a great leader here for four years. So I mean, he always been just saying is be vocal, get these guys get these guys better, um, push them, push yourself, and like if you push yourself, they gonna all follow you. I think it's a huge huge part of you know what what our what our brotherhood is here. Um, obviously, everyone wants to win, so him just you know pulling me aside, giving me a little pointers. I feel like. You know, that's going to help me personally, but help our team as a whole um, make that next step and, and get to the next level. I'm just so blessed to, to be a part of this family, this, this Duke Brotherhood family, especially this year uh, at the start of a new era with uh, Coach Shire. This year is going to be fun. Uh, new team. Uh, I love I love playing with these guys. Uh, I know it's going to be I know it's going to be fun. Um, like you said, I'm trying to carry that confidence over from the NCAA March Madness to to um, do to this season and carry us back to where we need to be the final four national championship. Suck, JT here. Tatum on the attack. Oh my 
chose to come back. It's been a while. It's been like three years. Um, but you know, this is always home. You know what I'm saying? I was an 18-year-old kid when I came in this building. Um, and I still got a lot of family here, you know, DB, Sewell, Shire, Mill, Coach Will, trainers, Nick, Jose, everybody. Um, you know, so it's always great to come back, see these guys, um, you know, check on the team. Uh, you know, the guys came back when I was playing. So it's only right, you know, I do the same. And, you know, I love being back. So anytime I can, I brought Deuce with me. Uh, you know, he might be a future blue devil, we'll see. But, uh, you know, anytime I come back, you know, I always love to. I mean, it's an incredible opportunity. It's it's something I didn't even really think would, would be real whenever I thought of a grad year. The balance between academics and athletics here means everything to me. For my whole life, I've been in a family that valued education, um, but I'm also a competitive person. Um, so Duke is a perfect place where you don't have to compromise on those things. So to be able to, you know, go to one of the top business schools in the country and obtain a degree from there is unbelievable in and of itself. And then in addition, I get to experience uh, Duke basketball and be an intricate part in, in creating this new legacy. And I'm just extremely excited and extremely grateful. The opportunity to come to a place like Duke, like I mentioned, I think they, they Duke exemplifies the balance between the highest level of athletics and uh, the highest level of academics. Like Duke is the best in the country of basketball, and like at the top of the top in terms of academics too. So you really can just be the best that you can be. There's really nothing holding you back except yourself. Uh, we're at the front entrance of the Fuqua School of Business, and behind me is the cafeteria. So you can see it's pretty packed with kids right now, as it probably is for the next many time from 11 a.m. to. Uh, 2 p.m. Uh, a lot of people just go there and hang out, just ping pong tables, things like that. Yeah. This is a pretty common hallway. Walk this way to get to and from class, go into Fox cafeteria. Like, if you think of Fuqua, like, this is it. All these flags and stuff, like, we're here all the time. We just got out of class today. We had econ and finance, and uh, now we're just getting some work in. I think Kale's doing a quiz. I gotta look over some time. Well. Woke up at like 5.35 for a 6.30 lift today. Um, got out of lift around 7.30 a.m. Walked straight over after a shower, quick bite to eat. Started class at eight. Uh, we have our first class today it was microeconomics from eight to 10.15. Uh, and then from there, second class finance and capital markets today started at 10.30, went to 12.45. We'd have a little bit of downtime usually here before practice starts. Typically, we'd have maybe an hour in between, try and eat something and head right over to practice. It's been a challenge being the only old guy, you know, I'm uh, essentially working with this whole summer. It's been almost three high school basketball players with them being new. And it feels like such a long time ago when I was, you know, their age, being able to, to help, you know, get them caught up to speed and show them the ropes of what being a college basketball player and a, more specifically being a college basketball big, uh, it's all about. You know, I think watching the maturity process is really cool for me. I really didn't know hardly anything as an incoming freshman, you know what I mean? And then you just, like piece by piece, you kind of just like figure it out. Like, you know, well, let's go get it. You know, this is our, this is everything that, you know, needs to have in order for us to get to our goals. I've just kind of embraced the challenge and when everyone else uh, around you is doing the same things, it's, it's pretty easy to just, you know, fall in love with the work and fall in love with the process. The thing that I'm most excited about is definitely the student support. Uh, you know, I, I grew up uh, watching Duke games. Like, I'm just excited to be a part of something that you know is so treasured. Uh, the day-to-day -day mentality, the day-to-day -day intensity that needs to be brought in order for us to get where we where we have. Uh, there's just we just don't have the luxury of waiting back and saying maybe next year. And I think more than anything, that really helps us rather than hinders us. And that's a wrap for us here at MMS. Hope you got a good sense of uh, what we do day to day. And. Uh, Get back to it. Let's go to the gym. I'm Cam Reddish. I'm back home, and you're watching Duke Blue Planet. Yeah.